Hi, it's Vera here and welcome to my Facebook page at Tech Hacks. For this video and more videos, please visit my page at Tech Hacks. Today's video is going to be about if you don't have Google Classroom, um, how do you have students share their work in organized files and folders and how do you uh, give them new work to work on without having too much work for yourself. So first things you, first, you need to go to your drive. You need to create a new folder. So you're going to create new folder and you're going to name it. So maybe you can name it my grade one online class. I've created mine over here. I called it class online. So once you have the folder created, you can even change the color by right clicking on it. Select change color and you can make it any color you'd like. So I can change mine to blue. Go into that folder. You're going to need to create a folder for each student in your class. So if you have 25 students, you need to create 25 folders. Unfortunately, uh, Google Drive doesn't allow you to duplicate folders. So you're going to need to manually create it. But you only need to do that once. So to create new folders within your folder, you're going to create new, click on folder, type your student's name. So I'm going to put student three and create. So you can see I have, I have my three students in here. If you have more than three, you're going to create as many students as you have. Now, what you need to do with each folder is you're going to share it with the student's email or parent's email if you have younger kids that you're teaching. So you're going to right click on it. You're going to click share. And you're going to write down the email of the parent or student that you will be emailing that particular folder only. So each folder belongs to one student and it's shared between you and that one student. So you're going to do that to each folder. So each folder will be shared with you and the parent and student and no one else. Now, how do you make it so that, you know, instead of you adding new assignments into each folder, that the students already have all the assignments in there and then every time you add one, they will be able to see it. So there is a trick or there is a hack to this so that you don't have to work too hard and customizing everything. What you're going to do is you're going to create one Google Doc. So you're going to press file and empty Google Doc page. What you're going to do here, and again, you can customize this page any way you'd like, but you're going to create a page with all links to your assignments or to things you want your students um, to do. So again, use my calendar template that I have in my Facebook group, or you can use any template you want here. I'm just going to make it as simple as possible. So welcome to our online Plus, please see the links below for your daily instructions and handouts. Okay, so this page will have all of the handouts and links that your parents and students need to work on. So we can start by writing day one, welcome activity. So now go find your actual welcome activity that you wanna, uh, you want your students to be working on. So mine is right here. So here is my activity, assuming this is a full assignment. Now, what you need to do and this, you have to be very careful. When you're going to copy, your Google Doc activity. You're going to look at the URL and you might see here edit or view. Delete, edit or view whatever you see there and manually type copy. 
Again, make sure that you don't delete anything else, just the word either edit or view, and then manually replace it with copy. Once you did that, copy paste the link, go to your page, highlight day one welcome activity, click insert, click and paste it. Again, make sure that it says copy. What this does is it's going to manually make a copy for each person that clicks on it. So they're not going to be able to edit your copy because they're going to get their own copy. Okay, so let's say for day two, you wanted them to do a quiz. So go to your quiz. So again, you want to have all these tabs maybe either prepared, but again, you can actually keep adding this every single day. And your parents, this will get updated for them every single day as well. So for day two, let's say you created a Google Form quiz. Again, you can watch my video on how to create that. And you're going to give them the URL of the quiz that you um, have created. So either you can go here, share, and then it's going to take you to the quiz, or you can copy paste the quiz's URL. Go back to your document, height, insert, link. And here, because it's a quiz, it already automatically will collect all their information. Make sure you watch my video on how to create a quiz so that it does, you do it properly. Let's say on day three, you wanted them to watch a YouTube video. Watch this video. You're going to go to the YouTube video that you want, copy the URL. Don't need to do anything here. Again, highlight, insert, link, copy, paste. So now we have three activities and we're going to do one more for day four. You want them to do interactive Google slide activity. So go to your interact Google slides. So again, this one, we want each student to get their own copy. So click on the URL. See if you can find the word edit, because we're going to be changing that. So again, don't touch anything else, just the word edit. Remove those letters. Type copy. Now take that whole URL with what you just created. Insert, link, again, look that it says copy. So here we can see it's, it says copy. So you did it correct and click apply. Every day you can keep adding a new activity. Now, now we have our template where the parents will be clicking on it and it's gonna create their own copy. I'll just demonstrate what it's going to do. So when your parents will click on that, So you see, this created now a copy so that each student and parent, they have their own copy rather than being able to edit yours. So go back to your document. So now we can see we have all the activities listed. And again, each day you can add more and more activities. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to our folders. So again, student one, two, and three. And in each folder, so again, you're only gonna do this once. So once you set it up, then things should work smoothly. In each folder, so click on your first student's folder, you're going to create a Google Doc. Name it with your student so for me, it's student one. And type either 
agenda or activity link. Agenda link. Okay. So this Google Doc belongs specifically to this particular student. It's going to be in their folder. What we're going to do now from the main document that we created, so this is our main daily agenda. We're going to select it. So again, for this one, you want to make sure it's on view mode. So when you're going to click share, because we're going to be adding to it every day, so we want them not to have their own copy. We want them to have your copy just in view mode. So you're going to click here. So right now it says can edit. We don't want them to edit this document. We only want them to view it. So every time you add something to it, they're going to have to see it and you can update it as many times as you want. So click view. See it has an I and then click shareable link. And you can take this link, copy, paste it or click copy link. So Command C or Control C and then press done. Now, let's go back to our student. So this is our student, where your student is. And type over here, please refer to this. Okay. So if we can see it's on sharing and apply. Again, you can make this pretty, color it. I'm going just keeping it simple for today. So this way, the students and parents will always click on here and it will take them, it will take them to your main page that you're going to be updating the activity. So they're going to know, okay, today is day two. Oh, I have a quiz to do. Okay. So let's see. And we can check now. So we're going to back to our drive where we see all of our students. So we're going to click on student one. Oh, there it is. So we know that the student has received it. You're going to do the same thing for student two and for student three. So click new, click Google Docs. In this student to student or whoever your second student is, student to daily agenda. And you can just take the same text you wrote for student one and just copy paste it. And again, it's going to take them to that agenda, the live agenda you're going to be updating every single day. So again, we can go to our class. So again, let's see if student two received this. And there it is. This way, when the student will click on these links, it will allow them to, you know, work on the daily activities you're sharing with them, but also to put the new copies that they're getting inside the folder. So then you can see it and then you can give feedback. Uh, watch my video on how to give feedback on Google Docs and Google Slides. Um, again, there's multiple ways. So I have videos on um, doing that as well. So when your student clicks on the daily agenda, takes them to the main page and now When they click on the activity, it will ask them, will you like to make a copy of this assignment? And they're going to click make a copy. And now, since watch it has their own copy in it. Now that it's theirs, they can start um, writing in it. Okay, so they can start writing down whatever your questions are about. 
And then what you need to let the parents know to make sure that this goes back into the shared folder with you. So you see this button over here where it says move, the little arrow. Your parents would need to click on that after they have any activity or they want to share with you. Find the folder name. and click move here. And on your end, we can now see, oh, they've completed the welcome activity. So, and then you can go into that and you can give them any feedback and comments. And the more assignments you're gonna have in here, the more copies the students will create and then they will put it back into this folder so everything is nice and organized. And you would have the same thing for student one, student two, and student three. And keep your main daily agenda not in a folder, but in the main class online folder, but not in the student's folder. You saw how I showed how to uh, copy paste the link into every single one of them. So I hope this video helped uh, for this video. For this video and more videos, visit my Facebook page at Tech Hacks.